Hi Libra, happy birthday. Um, I wanted to get your reading to you for those who um, start celebrating your birthday in late September. I know my nephew, Sean, is one. Um, he's right on the cusp of Virgo and, and Libra. My sister is the 15th and my beautiful granddaughter is the 14th of October. Both of them are October. Um, so, happy birthday. I feel like this is going to be a good one. Um, this is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising, by the way. But um, it just feels like, I feel like the energy is going to be good for you. Let's go ahead and get into your reading. We're going to use three different decks. We're going to use the Mother Mary Oracle for our words of wisdom. I'm going to use the Lumerous Tarot to uh, clarify or go a level deeper. And we're going to use the Good Tarot for your main spread. It all reads together though. But let's start with Mother Mary. Give it a couple shuffles. Um, while I'm shuffling, I just want to mention real quick about the membership program I have. Um, and just give some clarity on it because I, I get like, you know, some are confused what tier they're in. There's three different tiers. Tier one is, um, it's a thank you, you know, just an appreciation. Uh, it's two ninety nine, I believe, $2.99. Um, and then tier two is, there are, like, I, I try to do at least weekly videos. Um, and then I do, like, you know, card polls for each individual. Um... We learn Tarot. Um, I try to explain to how I read Tarot. Let's put it that way. And um, and there's other things. And then there's ter uh, Tier 3. That is where everything is included. And then we do live one-on-ones. I'm saying one-on-ones, but as a group. Um, I'm keeping it as a small, intimate group. I don't want it too, too large. Um, so I'll probably take maybe five or six more um but anyways so my the reason i'm bringing it up mainly is because some think that they're in you know tier two and they're they want a video but they're in tier one um also if you are in the membership program turn on your notifications um to make sure you're getting notifi um, notified of any videos I put out for you, okay? Or any messages, you know, that type of thing. All right, back to you, my dear. Libra, Libra, Libra. It's my birthday and I'll cry if I want to. I'll cry if I want to. You would cry too if it happened to you. Well, God feels major. God. I step out of the way and surrender any need for control in order to make room for God's healing love to flow through me and this situation. I step out of the way and I surrender any need for control in order to make room for God's healing love to flow through me and this situation you know I'm just getting this feeling there may be some who it's you know it's like I want it this way right but maybe it's not going to happen that way um, but maybe it's going to be better you know what I mean sometimes we don't want to be resistant because it, you know I mean I can think of many times when I don't know, like I was stubborn fighting something and then it turns out to be the best thing in the world. Anyway, it's also about let, you know letting go of control. If I can't control something, pray about it. And by the way, you know, I do feel like answers come, signs come, but you have to be aware of them, right? You have to heed them. Okay, anyway, let's get into the good tarot. I am going to read from the top on this deck and shuffle with the Lumerous tarot. I just kind of feel that's the way it's meant to be. 
So we're going to let the story unfold. Let's go ahead and bring this down. Okay. Let's begin. All right. We start with the hermit. Carter Virgo. Some of you may be on that cusp. Close enough, right? Um, you know, it's interesting. We're doing, you know, this, this in September. This is a nine. Hermit is about the reflection. Uh, you may have been in a period of time when it's been about like the reflecting within yourself. Again, I feel like if this is relating to Mother Mary's card and God comes out, um, I don't know. I just feel like this is the wisdom of that. Okay, let's keep going. We have, well, hello, the star. First of all, two major arcanas. You deserve it. It's your birthday. The star, what a lovely card to come out. This is your hopes, your dreams, your wishes. You know, this may be something that's coming to fruition after a period of time. You know, maybe I needed to go through or I needed to understand. It's interesting because it's like the king, the keys to your kingdom are hanging there. Um, but there's more than one. And I feel like what that's representing is there more, there's more than one door, right, in our lifetime. Like we're going to go through different doors at different times. Each one of them is bringing us something, right? But also, am I locking the door behind me so that the next door can open? Next door, you know, is of your hopes, your dreams, your wishes. It's the perfect card to come out right now. Um, but this is you act actively manifesting also. I often feel like this is like, you know, half me, half divine. I'm working hand in hand. I do my part, they do their part. Um, it's a card of Aquarius also. We have the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. I feel like I'm going too slow. And then we have the King of Swords. Could be you. Right? Libra. Um, could be an Aries. Could be Cap uh, not a Capricorn. Um, well, what am I saying? It's like my mind just went to mush. Gemini. Aquarius. We do have Aquarius on the table. We're doing Libra's reading. I feel like this king, whoever this king may be, and again, it can be a queen. Um, but let's talk about this king for a second because, you know, this is the king of communication. This is the, however I use that. This is the king of truth, right? It's mirroring the hermit. So I feel like this is this king, like having this realization of all, especially maybe through the dark times, um, how this king has grown into the king. Again, it can be male or female. I feel like this king has this realization and part of that is, you know, how do I say this? I'm going to say this in the kindest way, but this is me telling me this. It's almost like I feel like maybe I've been too selfish earlier. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I was like, you know, my way or the highway. But I feel like this king is different now because I feel like this king is compassionate, giving, um, well, let's keep going. We have the Five of Cups. So the Five of Cups is coming over the Hermit. To me, um, I don't think you're like so much in this energy. This is like focusing on all I have lost. Because it's coming into the Hermit, I feel like, you know, it's like the no, yes, I have lost, right? And it's the, you know, yes, there's there's heartache within that loss. 
um, but yet at the same time, like those keys, I feel like, but that doesn't mean like you shouldn't continue on. I feel like, you know, maybe you've been in this emotional type energy for a while. You know, there's two cups on the other side of this five. Two, brand new. Well, it doesn't show it in here, but usually you'll see three cups knocked over. And that's what the per person is focusing on. And there's two cups behind him that are standing up. Brand new. Whatever it may represent. We have the Four of Pentacles. Look at this. We have the Four of Wands. Interesting. Two fours back to back. I got a little bit of goosebumps. And then look at this. We have the lovers. Just says love. Love. How interesting that love, or the lovers, is coming out right next to the four of wands, which is the commitment card. Some call it the marriage card. I almost feel like someone's moving out of like, I'm moving out of this certain type of energy that I've been in. Almost like I've been in the energy of the hermit and learning and understanding and gaining like some real wisdom. Um, <clears throat> um, you know, and I do feel like, you know, there was a period of time where it's like what I have lost, right? But I feel like that is changing. I feel like it's changing. Um, I, or it's already changed because I feel like this king has like, it's almost like the hangman in the awareness state. I wonder if it'll come out that way. Almost like this king is wanting to make a commitment. All right, let's see who's on the bottom of the deck. We have the King of Cups. King of Cups. Can be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I don't know why, I just want to look under him. The Eight of Wands. Um, the Lover's card, by the way, can be Gemini. These are already pre-shuffled. They're just hard to shuffle right now, so. All right, let's open this up. You have three major arcanas, the Hermit, look at that, the Star, and the Lovers. Now you have the Death card. I already know. Well, first of all, it is the card of Scorpio. Interesting, it knocked this king of wa this king of cups like something knocked him off this like was trying to knock him off the spell. Anyway, it's a death card. Can be Scorpio, of course. Um, but I feel like this is talking about like you're using one of those keys, and I do feel like you're closing the past. You know. Um, what needs to close, at least. I feel like this this king is completely aware. Completely aware of, you know, if I want to make my dreams come true, let's say. And I almost feel like I'm talking about love. But I am also feel like I may be talking about this king coming out using um, his or her voice in some way. What am I holding? Death card. So an ending. So there can be a rebirth. You know, let's not forget the rebirth. I feel like the ending is more energetic, like, you know, where my focus is at. We have the Nine of Wands. Well, I like that because I feel like this is about something you've put a lot of energy into. 
you know, two nines right there. And then look at that, the Six of Pentacles over the Six of Pentacles. Interesting. What's under it? The Four of Wands. This could talk about two people who just kind of, you know, are meant to be. Um, because I feel the compassion in both, right? There's two of them here. I feel like, you know, potentially I'm making a commitment to someone else, but I also feel like I'm making a commitment to myself. And when I say that, I mean to my, um, because I feel like something that I have worked on, you know, maybe put a lot of effort into, um, because I feel like the Nine of Wands is saying, don't give up. It's coming right over the star, your hopes, your dreams, your wishes. You never know right when that door might open and that's maybe why the death card is here you may be saying like you know you know the like there's something let's just say and maybe it's just my where my focus is at interesting okay let's keep going You know, I'm just noticing how the lion and the girl are just, they're embracing each other. Right? They found harmony within. This can talk about individually, uh, probably. And then maybe even, you know, I'm seeing, well, I'm seeing these sixes here. So it may tie this six into it. The lovers. Whoa. All right, look at this. We have the King of Cups. <laughs> Coming over this King. And then we had a card go off the table. Let me find it right here. Look at this. We have the Seven, seven of Swords. But it showed upright in the reverse. That would be coming over the Five of Cups. You know, it's interesting because in the in Seven of Swords, this is energy that um, I feel like I can't trust. Whether, you know, whatever it may be. Maybe it's a person. Maybe it's, you know, people. Um, maybe it's my own thought. Whatever it might be. Um, it's in reverse. It's in reverse. You know, if that's, if that's any elements of me, then that's also in a reverse. So I'm no longer that way. Let's say. The Knight of Cups. Boy, do I feel like, um, I almost feel like there's an unexpected proposal. An unexpected, I don't know. You know, let's follow this Knight of Cups, which is bringing in an unexpected cup, right? Whatever that may mean for you. Um, it's something that should bring your heart joy, no doubt. I like that the Seven of Swords follows it in reverse. In reverse. Almost like I'm changing my focus, and therefore my life changes. You know, I feel like in the, with the Nine of Wands and the Star, it's like, you know, the realization, because a hermit right before that, the realization of what's important and what's not. What should I hang on to and what shouldn't I? What should I concentrate on and what's got to go? We have the Emperor. The Emperor. Um, this is the, this is, uh, card of Aries. Interesting, but I feel like this is also great energy if you are doing something inside the home. You know, like you're building something, um, 
I feel like within, it's almost like, you know, like what I do, right? I'm at home and I'm working from home. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles, can be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I feel like, I know for some of you, this may mean an Aries within the Emperor's energy, but boy, do I feel the energy also of, you know, especially with the Seven of Swords in reverse here. It's almost like if I cut out the fat, let's just say, and I really get down to business, even though I do feel like you've been there, you've been doing that, right? And it's not about giving up, though I do feel like certain parts of it Right? I feel like um, because the emperor, you know, I mean, that's what we thrive for. Um, but it can certainly mean business ownership. And um, I feel like, you know, of course the emperor has put in time. What the heck? What the heck? The Nine of Swords. <clears throat> I don't know. You know, maybe this isn't as big as I think. Maybe this is just worry. Maybe I plan on pronouncing my love to someone or what have you. Um, I feel like this could just simply be the worry of what the other's response may be. Um, because it is unnecessary. And it is coming over the lovers. And it's coming over this king. And it has an effect on this king or this knight of cups. I'm not going to leave it there. Well, we have the Two of Wands, so I feel like whatever I am presenting, it's being accepted. Um, not just that, but I feel like you yourself. You know, there may be like this new avenue that opens up to you. I feel like be very open to signs. Um, be very open to them because it could lead you to, in a direction Listen, it probably has something to do with the, what you're already good at, but this may lead you in a direction where, um, I don't know, it feels good. Look at that, the Eight of Pentacles coming under that Emperor. Hello. Eight of Pentacles um, talks about, if I put my head down, and I focus on what it is I need to focus upon, right? What it is I need to grow in my life. What it is I need to expand in my life. Um, then I'll do so. You know, the Eight of Pentacles says, don't, you know, be willing to walk in as an apprentice. Um, but knowing one day you'll be the master of what? Well, whatever your domain is. <laughs> it's interesting, though, but I feel like there's a lot of energy that's also taking place at home. What am I holding? Eight of Pentacles. Wow. Under the Emperor. We have the Knight of Pentacles. You know, it's almost like, here's God, right? Here's the energy of God. Here's the Knight of Pentacles, which is like a guardian angel type energy. It's a very slow moving energy, but it needed to be, right? And, and, and a lot of times we think we're waiting on the universe, but the universe is waiting for on us. For what? 
for us to find a balance within ourselves, within our union, within the people we love, within what we do, right? The willingness to go after it, um, right? The willingness not to live in a state of fear, which is what the Nine of Swords can do. You know, Nine of Swords um, can take what could be a beautiful yes and turn it into a no. I mean, it just could. And, you know, I just want to say, like, I also feel like you're, you're like, divinely guided. You know, like, there's new epiphanies that come to you, ideas. Um, don't brush them off because they may just be coming. Listen, maybe in a completely different form than you expect. But this is truly a blessing, and it comes at the right time. All right. You know, it's interesting. He's got the world in his hands over here at the Two of Wands. I'm looking at this Knight of Pentacles, same thing with this round pentacle in his hands. We have the Queen of Swords. Look at this, we have the wheel, and we have the two of pentacles. Well, you know, it's definitely showing that this knight is bringing in something that's destined to come in at this time. This knight and this knight must be working somewhat um, hand in hand, right? I feel like these sixes of pentacles can talk about maybe two people or even a group of people where um, it's like you found your soul family or you're beginning yours. I know my nephew is beginning his, you know, he just got, um, he just had a baby. I was going to say he just got married, but he hasn't. Um, but, it, you know, like here, I could almost see the proposal. You know what I mean? Um, anyways, this knight is bringing something destined. Interesting that the queen of pentacles is above that. You know, what's her specialty? You know, she can, like, she's great at seeing those details that other people seem to miss. That may be a clue into um, something that you can expand upon. Interesting, we have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords right there with the wheel. The Two uh, Pentacles is here, which is interesting because, you know, it does put a little question mark there. Um, but I feel like if this is someone... Listen, I feel like this is someone who... Or maybe both, I don't know. Or, uh, you know, or more than one anyway but what I'm trying to say is I feel like this is something that's coming in it's coming in I feel like it is a true sense of joy not just that but I feel like it, your pentacles seem to like go to the next level right but it's because you're also focusing on that you know you're focusing on all parts of your life but this energy is very very strong And I feel like this is simply someone taking a moment to logically think about their response. All right. Well, I'm not going to leave it there either. I don't like to leave it at a question. Look at this. The full. There you go. There's a yes. You know, how interesting because here's the full. Here's the death card. The death card asks for... You know, allow what wants to end to end, what needs to end to end, close the door. You know, doesn't mean that the memories or what have you, but like you close the door to it. Allow, 
new opportunity, new avenues within your life. And the Fool is definitely saying yes. Interesting, the Fool's also mirroring this Knight of Cups and the Fool's mirroring the Two of Wands. It's like yeses everywhere. You know, the rebirth, boom, the Knight of Cups, the Fool. Even with this worry here, I don't know guys I feel like I should leave there um, because I feel like that was the perfect response to this two uh, pentacles what do I do what do I do the fool says I'm gonna take a chance I'm gonna take a chance I'm taking a chance on myself and maybe I'm also taking a chance on someone else the fool doesn't drag the past to the present the fool is very present right um matter of fact you know the second really the second um let's just say person that the fool meets is the high priestess and her job is to teach the fool that the fool's intuition is the fool's gps is how the fool um you know knows when to take a right and when to take a left when to go straight all of that the fool's definitely taking chances. You know, some I know sometimes chances don't work out, but sometimes they do. It, it, this is interesting because I do feel like I just feel like this is a, this is a yes, and here we go, and here we go. Nine of cups on the bottom of the deck. Um, harmony within all right i want to read god how could i not you prayed for help and now it's time to well allow heaven to assist you god's love and wisdom have always been available to you provided that you're willing to trust his divine will Release any unhealed components of your relationship with your Creator to Mother Mary and the, and the angels in favor of developing a closer and more trusting one. This may require tremendous faith on your part, especially if you can't see a solution to your present situation on the horizon. This card indicates that you've been approaching this situation single-handedly trying to anticipate and control the outcome by yourself. Anxiety comes from distrust in divine order and timing, along with disappointment when other people don't follow your plans. Surrendering your need to be the scriptwriter helps you relax and actually get better results. God has room to heal you and this situation when you allow God to be in charge. Well, amen. I'm going to leave it there, guys. I love you so much. Again, happy birthday. Um, man, take a chance on you. Take, just, just take a chance in life. Whatever it may be. Um, I love you. I'll see you next time at our table. Bye-bye.